What's good, it's your boy Hollywood KJ? We back with another reaction video. No cap today, we got why no one's allowed to explore the Antarctic. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was Antarctica, but I guess it's the Antarctic now. I guess they changed it. Whatever. If you watch this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow um my Twitch link in the description. Subscribe to my other two channels link in the description. We gonna get straight into the video. No capital, you know what I'm saying? We, we learning the today, bro. Oldest continent is also one of the most mysterious places. Antarctica is a whole it's continent. As unique as it is secretive, and unlike most destinations, you can't just hop off a commercial flight unless you're an elite scientist or an emperor penguin. Exploring the Antarctic is forbidden. Even if you could, good luck overcoming frostbite-inducing temperatures of negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 90 degrees Celsius. Damn, why is 90? It and where do these rules come from? Grab your mittens and let's find out. I'm gonna be one of the first Before people to the um, mid explore. Mid-1900s, right? we knew almost nothing about Antarctica. Then an American Navy explorer by the name of Admiral Richard Byrd Jr. changed everything. Oh, and before you go asking Santa for presents, the Antarctic is actually at the South Pole. Antarctica equals South, Arctic equals North. Compre I knew that, bro. I knew that. I knew that. Anyway, what was Bird's deal? Aside from enormous expanses of ice, endemic wildlife, and wintry conditions he'd never before seen, what else exactly did he find? While it's still shrouded in mystery, many think that Bird came across an underground civilization called Agartha. Here, check it out. What is this? In 1957 and 58, a bunch of countries came together and were like, you know what, we love what this new research is showing and wait so like who's who's stopping us from going to antarctica like who's who's in charge of antarctica does antarctica have a government or something like like what do they like i'm confused i actually don't understand bro do they have like security or and something bro? Oh, antarctica. so the antarctica treaty was created what does that mean exactly Oops. well it means that smarty pants scientists in lab coats can venture into the icy abyss for research purposes for the rest of us there are exceptions of course there we, we can go. for example head to the antarctic waters on a cruise ship can we set foot on the land as well technically yes there are a few landing spots along the peninsula but also i can dead ass go mass, so we can't fly i ain't gonna lie i'd rather fly than go on a, um, no a boat i don't want to say some titanic type stuff stuff partial ownership for these seven countries here check it out so let's see who owns it bro argentina australia um shilly 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 France, New Zealand, Norway, and the United Kingdom. Okay, so so they all came together and said that we can't go. Interesting. Okay, I'm surprised that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um countries came together and agreed on that nobody else can go. That's selfish of them, bro. So if, I guess I gotta move to France or somewhere, or sheesh. Shillily, Shillily, or whatever it's called to go there. Okay. Okay. That seems so fair. We know we're not allowed to wander around the frostbitten land of Antarctica, but why exactly is that? That's where they hide the aliens. For the protection of the environment. It makes sense, too. The world's southern tip is a place overflowing with biodiversity. There's endemic species, underground mountains. Yeah, you heard that right blood red waterfalls and even gold spewing volcanoes but as much as we do want to keep our beloved environment thriving we've also been banned for our own safety temperatures can drop to a whopping negative 130 degrees fahrenheit that's negative 90 celsius so negative 90 degrees but if i'm wearing a couple jackets i'm chilling right ourselves is the whole story however for a select few it's believed that there's some rather shady stuff going on behind that ice wall it got as you to can be see, it's completely visible on google maps satellite view so if something shady was going on it must be rather well hidden perhaps this giant alien face-like structure could be a sign of the unknown we won't delve too deep into other theories, but they do include a supposed hidden fortress used in World War II, claims that an ancient civilization once lived down there, and of course the a idea civilization, that it's the, the end of the world because the world is flat. Uh, yeah, right. Right. Okay, so what would actually happen if we did try to visit Antarctica? 
If you break the rules, get hey, you guys think the world is flat? And if you really think about it, the world could be flat. Like, I don't, well, I personally don't think that the world is real. You know what I'm saying? I think that, you know what I'm saying? Everything's just fake. Because, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? How did we get to the point where we could go out of, out of, out of space and stuff? Like, I know this is really our topic, but like, how did we get to the point where we can go outer space? And we've been able to go outer space, you know what I'm saying? It's like the moon and stuff for how many years now? But in 2021, we can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just say I want to go outer space and go outer space, you know what I'm saying? You got to, like, be a trained professional, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, go to, you know what I'm saying? Training for how many years to just go to outer space, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't you think I... You know what I'm saying? Space is fake. Just let you guys know. Fines of up to ten thousand U.S. dollars, and even a year behind bars for each rule that you break. There Damn. are a heap of rules to follow, but they mostly revolve around protecting native wildlife. But wait, bro, what is that, bro? Technically governs the area. Who's actually gonna punish us? Exactly. It depends on where you're from. According to the Antarctic Treaty, anybody accused of a crime in Antarctica is subject to punishment by their own country. But what if you're just visiting as a tourist from a country that isn't part of the treaty? Well, in that case, usually the host nation of the ship or plane you arrived on takes the reins. And the captain or pilot of the ship could take full temporary control over you. What? Antarctica Whoa! Take control own... over me? What you mean take control over me? So, what? Bro, <laughs> nobody's taking control over me, okay? I will be always be in control of myself. A restricted landmass, but also one of the largest forbidden airspaces on the planet. It's because of legislation that was introduced in the 80s under the Reagan administration. A law was created that stated no aircraft, regardless of where they are, is allowed to be more than 60 minutes from an airfield in case of an emergency. Since the infrastructure around the South Pole is next to none, we have to avoid it in the name well, of the Well, Xbox still hot, bro. I of course, that rule Xbox usually to... only affects bro, commercial my jets. Not Charter hot. jets can still come and go to bring staff to the research bases, which hovers around 3,000 in the summer and 400 in the winter. While it can become rather bleak and boring, there are still a few basic facilities on offer. At McMurdo Station, there's some coffee shops, a general store, a post office, and two solitary ATMs. So they got a coffee shop, so they got people working. So you can live there, bro. What? Bro, this is hurting my brain, bro. So you can live there, but we can't go there. Okay, bro. It's, this is hurting my head, bro. I'm so confused, Sadly, bro. What if they got McDonald's, bro? Don't make it back. Over the Damn. years, many bodies have been discovered beneath the ice, and some are never discovered at all. In total, the number of fallen explorers is thought to be in the hundreds. That's all for why no one's allowed to explore the Antarctic. Do you think there's more? Well, that's it for that video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Uh, subscribe to all my channels. Link in the description. Follow me on Twitch. Let me know what you want me to react to next, but I'm gone. Don't cap up.